We're basically breaking into their house right now. You would not know, they're just very calm, not getting all excited as you kind of would expect when you open a beehive. Martin Berman here with Discovery News, and I'm joined by Professor Doble of the George Washington University. Professor Doble, where are we right now and why are there so many bees? Well, we are on the roof of one of our uh, biology department buildings. And they're beekeeping in downtown Washington, D.C. I would say maybe there are a dozen or so beekeepers in the city and that's it. So what's going on here then? Just a few months ago, we got into a, an agreement with a local restaurant founding farmers who uh, want the honey for their customers. Founding Farmers is owned by 42,000 farmers of the North Dakota Farmers Union. They pride themselves in being deemed one of the greenest restaurants in the nation's capital. I'm Valerie Zweig and I am the director of honey for Founding Farmers Restaurant. They originally wanted to create an urban rooftop garden until someone mentioned bees. We ended up really getting a bee in our bonnet about these bees and decided to really pursue that angle. And it's turned into what they claim is the largest urban apiary owned by a restaurant in the U.S. One of our most popular dishes is our uh, cornbread with honey butter. So maybe in that, maybe we would do a specialty cocktail, maybe a sauce. Um, or maybe, you know, we would just showcase the honey in the front of our restaurant, you know, beside our pickling jars, just to show what we're doing. Food for the restaurant and its diners, and research for the university. This is a pollen trap, and it has just the right amount of a hole for the bees to go through, and it knocks off about 50% of the pollen. Heidi Wolf is a biology student at George Washington University. Her thesis compares urban versus rural beekeeping. Right now, she's collecting pollen samples. So what we're going to do is organize them by color in an attempt to gauge the biodiversity of the plants. So different colors should equal different plants. Heidi's hypothesis is that the bees are healthier in urban environments, thanks to more biodiversity in pollen and less pesticide use. And essentially what we're doing is we're comparing 12 different sites, six urban and six rural. Heidi sees the urban beekeeping trend as another element of the green movement and finds the social nature of bees both fascinating and inspiring. I like to joke and say that they almost make communism seem, seem attractive, but they take it a little too seriously for me. You know, they'll die for their big group, you know. It's really altruism at its finest. Back on the rooftop, Professor Doble explains what you can do to help promote urban beekeeping. I would love the uh, general homeowner to stay away from uh, pesticide applications. Their research will continue for the next six months, and Founding Farmers hopes to double the number of hives on the rooftop next year. For Discovery News, I'm Martin Berman.